Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson on simple interest. So for the first couple of pages, you're going to take notes with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is simple interest? Well, before we get into that, we need to kind of go over uh, four definitions. Alright, so interest, or the I, okay, is the, basically it's the fee for, for taking out a loan. So I'm sure you've seen commercials on TV for Visa or MasterCard, right? Well, those companies charge a fee to basically borrow their money, and that's called interest. Now, P, the principal, that's how much money that people are borrowing. So that's like the starting point. So say if you wanted to borrow $5,000 uh, for a car, well, the principal would be $5,000 because that's the amount of loan uh, that you need. Now, the rate, okay, that's the um, interest rate per year. So that's the amount of the principal you have to pay back um, per year. And this is a really big thing. It has to be in decimal form, all right? So if you would please underline decimal form right here, uh, that's critical. And then finally, uh, T is, stands for time, and that's the length of the loan, all right? So some loans are, are two years, some might be six months, uh, some, like a house loan, could be 30 years, all right? But this right here, this formula, I equals P times R times T, that's how you determine the actual interest of a loan, all right? So based on that, let's look at a problem here together. So if you turn the page, it says determine the amount of simple interest paid for the following loan. So the first thing you always wanna do is you wanna write down the formula. So interest I equals the principal times the rate times the time. And then the next step you want to do is you want to plug in the values that you know. So we know the principal is $2,600, so it's going to be $2,600 times the rate, which is 12%. Now remember, this has to be as a decimal, so it's going to be 0 0.12 or 12 and hundredths. And then times the amount of years, which is 3. Okay, So this would be times 3. So now, if we do 2600 times 0 0.12 times 3, that will give us the amount of interest. So that amount is going to be $936. So the interest equals $936. So that's part one. So imagine you want to borrow $2600, well you're going to have to pay an extra $936 uh, as a fee to take out that loan. So part two it says, Determine the total amount of the loan that must be paid. All right. So the total amount, the way you get the total amount is, let's write this down. So total amount equals, all right, the principal plus the interest. So the P plus the I. All right. So if I want to figure out the total amount of the loan now, it's going to be 2600 plus our $936. And when I add those together, it's going to be $2,536. So that's the total amount that you'd have to pay back over three years uh, for, the, for the loan. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the Your Turn Now problem. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's tell you do this practice problem. So the first part is determine the amount of simple interest paid for the following loan. So you're taking out $1,500, that's the principal, at a rate of 11% for five years. So step one is always write down the formula. So I equals P times R times T. And now we plug in what we know. So it's gonna be 1,500 times 11% as a decimal is 0.11. That's a times right there. And then times five. Now when I do 1500 times 11 hundredths times five, I get a amount of $825. So $825, that's the fee to borrow or the interest to take out that loan. So finally, to get the total amount, remember the total amount is the principal plus the interest. So I need to add 1500 plus 
And when I do that, I get a grand total of $2,325. So that's the amount of money that you'd have to pay back so you can borrow $1,500. All right, how'd you do?